Hello again, <clears throat> Pisces. Uh, this is Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September of 2019. Um, I've already pulled some Oracle cards out for you. So, first we have Leo, the egg moon, which is around spring. And that is trust. Okay. And then we have full moon power. Now, <clears throat> what this is about is you have been feeling like you're kind of in the mucky, you know, what's good, what's right, what's bad. Um, am I doing the right thing? Um, so, love, career. I feel that you are needing to get in touch with, like, learn a little bit about your ancestral background, okay? Were there psychics there? Were they gifted? Um, did they have a certain talent? Uh, because everything is kind of pointing to you really need to look into your background. It's going to help you understand your love life, uh, where you need to go in your career. This is a general reading, okay? If you need a more personal energy read, you can contact me at torientarot84 at gmail.com. It's only $15 for your basic energy read. You can go to my Facebook page. You can see the reviews. Um, you can go to my site. All that's in the description box I will be giving. Okay, so moving on. Uh, this, I want you to see, she's like wrapped in an egg. An egg during the spring is like hope. Okay, trust that something new is blooming once you trust yourself. Okay, because you need to learn to give in to your trust and not... Not kind of second guess it. I think you second guess a lot of what's right, what's wrong. Uh, usually the first answer is right. And then your mind plays tricks on you. And that is your... You, you have guides. You have spirits around you. It's just, do you want to listen? Or do you want to let the devil... Like, I say the devil, which is mine, whatever you believe in, okay? Do you want him to trick you? Or do you want to trust yourself? Because once you trust yourself, once you step into the here, the now, what is going on? What am I good at? Who do I want? Where am I going? What is my background? You step into your power. Okay. Now I do know a lot of Pisces are the 12th sign. They are the grandfather of the water signs. They are very intuitive. Very emotional. They don't really speak on it too much, which is sad. Okay, they keep a lot to themselves. Um, I think right now you are balancing yourself. That you've been in a lot of conflict. But right now you're needing to reveal yourself. You're needing to trust that revealing yourself is okay. That not knowing where you're going is okay. Not knowing if th something's going to work is okay. They're saying trust that this is. Pisces and love, and career, and, you know, your psychic abilities. I keep saying psychic abilities because that's what I see here. Um, you know, you need to step into your, your divinity. You need to reveal your gifts that have been given to you. There might be a, sh a shift um, in your thought process, something that you've been following all these years hasn't really been working out for you. Okay, and I think during the next uh, full moon and a little past it in September, uh, you're, you're going to be able to actually assess what's going on, okay? Justice fell out. Now, as I was saying, balancing the dark to light, dancing around in it, we have justice. We have one is black, one is white, with the truth sword in between. Uh, clarity, balance, justice, karma, okay, Libra is here, okay, so if you don't know anything, you can go to my uh, Facebook, I actually have a link up, and you can put your birth date and stuff in, you can figure this out, so like I'm Taurus Sun, Libra Rising, Aquarius Moon, and Aries Cusp, and if that doesn't make sense for you, trust me, I usually... I totally lost train of thought here. You might, some of you might have been doing that. I resonate a lot with my moon, especially during nights. 
um, on readings. So, uh, you're trying to gain the clarity. You're trying to do what's right, okay, for yourself, for the people around you. Give me more, more on this trust and this power, please, for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the Empress. The Empress embodies all of the queens on the table, but mainly she embodies Taurus. Okay? The Empress is new birth, new growth. Sometimes it can be delays depending on what's around there because um, uh, new birth, new growth takes about nine months, but nine being September, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, growing even under the darkness, growing even under the moonlight, restoring balance. Um, it's very loving, very nurturing, very trusting, very protective. Um, you could come to this in about three weeks, okay? Uh, it's possible that you're going to find out, this is for someone that's popped in my head, it's possible you're going to find out you are not the father, if you are a male, uh, to someone who is claiming they are pregnant. Um, that was for someone, <laughs> which I think your intuition has been telling you, which is going to put you on where you can actually assess what you need to in life. So, that being said, there's been a loss. You've actually put yourself there with the Five of Cups. But there's going to be a new beginning because you're going to gain the clarity, like I said. As long as you give in and you flow in the here and the now and you trust yourself, you trust spirit, you trust the actual messages that are coming through, not the devil ones. You need to clear out whatever toxic things are around you, the people, whatever keeps you in a low vibration, you need to get to a high vibration. And I say that because we need to balance our light and our dark. Okay? And that is embracing your shadow side as well. Because your shadow side actually helps lead you um, to the light, to the, the decisions, and by feeling and embracing this loss, um, I feel you walked away from, I feel you walked away from this person, you're, you're feeling very lost about it, because you played tricks on yourself, and that's why you're needing to gain the clarity, the universe, you see those lightning strikes, they're giving you the clarity you need, there's also the infinity sign with the snake, which is transformation. This situation is transforming. It was a heartache. It hurt your heart. This could be for the cross watcher as well. I know you guys all cross watch. Give me more clarity, please, for this trust, this power for Pisces. Okay. Yep. The Ace of Wands. Passion intuition, creation, new. You have two new starts here once you you step into your power. You reveal yourself. You live in the here and now. You know that all things are possible. All things can be, uh, you can start over. Assess your situation. Make a real plan. Real creative. So you're gaining clarity, passion, offering or being offered to you what do we got here again the son of swords you could have a lot of air in your chart or you could be dealing with air um or fire so we have the sun which is the nine of swords and we have the nine of wands okay you are seeing past this now you are gaining clarity you are gaining the path the enlightenment and going because you're going to make a real clear-cut, passionate, loving decision. Okay, because there's a shift in your perception. You see that lightning bolt hitting that wand? That's a shift in your perception. That is uh, the foundation cracking. Letting new light in. Going for what you want. Because you're coming out of the hermit mode. You no longer need to sit in solitude. You no longer need to sit 
and grow more. You've had plenty of time. You've had plenty of time. You've had six to nine months of this hermit mode to be able to be reborn, to gain your balance, to get out of the loss. Four wands. When passion meets purpose. But it came in the reverse. So, you've not been very passionate self. You've not had a purpose. You've not had a plan. And you left this person behind that you were, you know, kind of destined to be with. That you had a very strong physical, mental connection with, or job, but you're seeing clearly now about it, the sun, you're stepping into yourself, you're stepping maybe into public eye, maybe they're in the public eye, um, getting the clarity, uh, being shown this is Leo, okay, I gotta finish this up or it's gonna die on me, I just see it 11, 11 as I said that, okay, Bottom of the deck is the magician. You have every tool you need to manifest something new. Passionate. See past everything. I have reveal your gifts on the bottom. Gold is protection. That is spirit saying you are protected. Show yourself. Show your gifts. Show the true you. This is actually the tower card in normal tarot. This is under it. There's blooming out of his head that is gone. <laughs> this is a pause. You've been in a pause in action. Something's shifting, okay? And you're needing to gain the balance. You need to make the choice. Sorry, this rush, I don't want to die and you not get your full message. Titan, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. September 2019, about the cards laid out in front of you. You definitely like night. You like the night. That's when you're most creative. That's when you mostly think about this thing. I think you're maybe needing to change your routine a little bit. Can I help you gain clarity? Pisces, someone right Venus, please. What's the message for Pisces, someone right in Venus? September 2019. Pisces. You're gonna you're gonna make a real plan. A real plan of action. It's a real plan of action. You're going to see clearly of what you need to do. Dear you, now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance, take a step back, and do nothing but observe, which is assess. Worry, don't worry about how long it would take to regroup, which is like the Empress. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at it how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information about the intellect and the intuition when you step into the role of observer. It's as, as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way you can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental non way. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now. You'll be glad you did. Don't Give in to the darkness. That is justice. Saying you're going to make a clear, conscious, balance, balanced decision because you're going to learn to actually listen to spirit and decipher who is spirit, who is not spirit. Because trust me, they play tricks on you. You have to learn to decipher what's real, what is not. You know? And it's like, as you turn on a switch, it allows your soul to be a central part of the information gathering and decision making process. That is you seeing clearly. That is you stepping in to this magnificent power. Realizing you have this power to get out of your head. Get out of your own way. Okay? Don't be a log. Don't be a brick wall. Flow. Be here. Be now. Make real plans, but don't come to this, this has to be this way. I can only do it this way. You need to learn to be flexible. You need to assess your actual surroundings. Who's in it? You know, like don't make hasty decisions. You need to assess actual things, okay? 
There are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day, and other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Hold on to your parachute strings for days leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, or get lost, or hurt yourself in any way. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. You can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into the transition of something new. That's trusting. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience, no matter what you're asking about. It's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you, no matter what happens. Okay. I think you've been in hermit mode and you're learning this and now they're saying no more. You've gained the clarity that you need. You know what your heart wants. You know what path you want to take. You can see it, okay? The sun is illuminating it. It's clear. It's ready for you. I'm sorry, I have to pick up the cards that fell. You're ready. You're ready. It's passionate. It's passionate. It's creative. Leave me a comment let me know what's going on. If you want a reading, contact me. I'm here for you. Catch you on the flip side, my love.